Chat with Manus. Free. Unlimited. From today. Jump into chat mode. Lightning fast answers free for all. Through a focused back and forth, ideas evolve. And when the direction is clear, Manus can take it further, seamlessly stepping in agent mode to execute complex tasks. Start with free chat. Ideas flow seamlessly into action. As you have seen, the Manus AI is now available for free. What does it mean to me? Let's find out. You're seeing on the screen is Manos AI. Now there's no more wait queue. Anyone can register and start using. The free version has a number of advantages. You now get daily refresh credits, 300 credits every day. But is it going to be enough for the tasks that you need? And then you also have a free credits to start your cell with, which in my case, I have a 1,300 credits. Now let's see what it can do. As you already know, I've been playing around with various other AI tools, building the new website. I built one with a windsurf within four minutes, but the design isn't great. I would like to improve it. Let's see if I can pass the website to Manus AI with one single prompt. The prompt itself is just going to be redesign agentic.com without any additional prompts at this point in time. Let's see what it will come up with. I have multiple choices. I have adaptive, I have agent, and chat. I will go with agent in this case. I'm not going to give it anything else. Let's just see where it's going to go. A quick refresher the way Manus AI works. It will spin up a virtual machine somewhere in the cloud and will create a bunch of folders, a bunch of scripts, and it will work on that machine. So it doesn't have access to my local computer. I can interact with it only in the chat. I can interrupt it at any time. And over here on this little window, if I click on that, I will be able to see what it's actually doing. So you could see right now, it's making the plan, it opened the website, and it's inspecting the website and the design. While it's working, it will create a number of files. It will do the research, it will go find the best standards, it will check the website, and it's gonna be publishing those results as additional files that you can see available over here. All of these files will be stored in its local file system on its virtual machine and will be made available at the end of the project. You can see on the left-hand side, I had a couple quick experiments there in preparation for this video. Now, I know from experience that this particular task will take some time, so I will use the magic of editing to accelerate the videos to cut through the interesting points. What we're seeing here, it scraped the website, it's converted it into a markdown, so the content of the website is now available as a markdown that it will use for further input. It reports on the left-hand side of what exactly it did so far, so it created the analysis and before the proceeding with the redesign, it needs to understand the vision and specific requirements. And now it asked me the questions. Interestingly enough, I used the same prompt last Friday and it wasn't asking me the same questions. Now that I provided answers, it, it does additional search online. Because I said that I'm building a website towards converting towards e-learning, it's checking online for online trends, searching for web B2B website design trends for 2024 for whatever reason. We're already halfway through 2025. AI training platform competitors. So now it summarized its research. It found design trends for 2025, it identified competitors for AI learning space. This one's actually the platforms, not necessarily the training providers, common features. And now it start doing the design concepts for AI Agentic Lab, key design elements and a content strategy. It's now creating a mock-up for a hero section for the website. For those that don't know, hero section is the top element on top of the website. You can see in the bottom right, it's progress. It's already planned how it would approach that particular task of redesigning the website, and it planned how it's gonna go about it. Analyze the current website and gather requirements, research design trends for e-learning and B2B websites, and next it's gonna move on to implementing the redesigned website. It's going through the process of generating various images for the website. You can see some of them have a bit of artifact. Made the choice to implement the website as a React application. So it's initiated the project, it initiated this code and start implementing the actual design that it has come up with. 
as a React application. Each individual file that it publishes in the chat can be opened in its preview window just by clicking on the output. And if you want to jump live, just press the jump live button. And here's the showing the first version of the website. It's asking now if we can deploy the website. And it's important to say the website will be available publicly. I'll allow to deploy. It's working on task five out of six. Test and deploy the redesigned website. We should be able to open it. And here we are, a design website where it has buttons, has a menu. Seems to be nothing is working at this point in time. So it did not get the links from the original website. It hasn't got some of the content from the original website. It but looks like it just focused on design more than anything else. And here we are. Manus has completed the current task. We could certainly could have improved the work of Manus AI by providing it a much bigger context, providing it more of a guidance, clarity about what and how it needs to be done. You can see this task was completed. I should be able to find how many credits it used and find it in the menu. There you go, credits, redesign a agentic website. It took 313 credits. So if you were to be on a free plan, it would have about to fit in. So you can see it took 313 credits to design that. On a free plan, you currently get 300 credits daily. If you were to do this, you would need to get additional credits or draw out of your monthly credit. And that would be about $16 a month. It provides all the mock-up pictures and all the research. And of course, you can also get the code to the actual website downloaded. So what do you think? Is that good enough? Would you want to pay money for having an agent to be able to do that kind of tasks for you? Let me know in the comments. And if you like what you saw, would like to see some more, please subscribe.